Thank you. And now the famous Johnny Jado, please. <laughs> ah. Well, it seems that there's a very dangerous trend here, um, certainly at the European Commission and among some of our colleagues here in this room. Well, Christopher Fjellner, do you disqualify pretty much any voter who hasn't entirely read your electoral program? They haven't read every single detail of the resolutions that are adopted in the European Parliament. Are they disqualified? And Mr. De Marti, you say, you say that citizens are against ISDS because they haven't understood the mechanism or they're not fully informed about it. Well, I think that that is behaviour which is very dangerous indeed. You have launched a public consultation. The citizens have come back and said that they are against it. You say that citizens vote on symbols. Well... No, they went onto the internet, they took the time to express their views. You say it's not because they're against, it's because they're badly informed. They're not reasonable, you say. They're just emotional. Well, could we stop acting like that? Because basically, you are digging a ditch between the European institutions and the citizens that we will never be able to fill again. People have had the chance to express themselves. I'm sure that when you've had meetings with companies, I mean, when you uh, see the, uh, the work that Business Europe has done coordinating the business sector, here you have citizens who are expressing themselves on a principle. What about local authorities, regions, member states? Can they still legislate with IDS, ISDS in force? Now... Of course, we've got to defend the right to legislate. If you basically say that all uh, public decisions are fine and uh, member states have the right to legislate, then you have, can't have ISDS. When you have ISDS, a, a public decision can be described as not being good. It can be taken before the courts. Well, what about protecting health and the environment? But fair enough. But what about the rest as well? Well, whether you reform it or improve it or what, basically, we're saying that companies can, can contest laws that are defined by member states outside a, a national jurisdiction. National parliaments have expressed themselves. They have voted. You cannot simply dismiss them like that. You have a prime minister that's expressed himself. You've got governments, consumers, the trade unions. You've got small and medium-sized companies. They're all coming out against ISCS. Just because you don't agree with them, you can't reject them. The question is not uh, uh, ISDS in the uh, tr uh, treaty. It's There are other ways to protect investments. I think that you have to communicate better. People express themselves on principles. It's not a question of communication. It's a question of principles of po politics. Thank you.